Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Google Drive and Google Docs in 30 minutes. Today I'm going to be talking about how to create a new spreadsheet in Google Sheets using the Google Sheets mobile app for iOS, which could be an iPhone or an iPad, and using a template. So here we have the Google Sheets mobile app on my iPhone. It's a horizontal view, landscape view. And you'll see when you first open the app, it'll show you the most recent spreadsheets you've been accessing. But what I want to do is create a new one. So in the lower right corner, you'll see a plus icon. Click on that or tap it. And we'll show you two options. The first one is choose template. The other one is new spreadsheet. So new spreadsheet would be a completely blank spreadsheet, just a bunch of cells and there's no formatting. Nothing is pre-filled. You have to start out from, from zero basically. But let's say that I need to create a, a spreadsheet from a template, such as an invoice. Like I've just gotten a message from one of my big customers and they didn't get my invoice earlier. I have to just recreate it quickly and send it before the end of the month or I won't be able to get paid uh, you know, as soon as possible. So I'm gonna hit choose template and a whole bunch of templates will pop up. This is the mobile version of the application, of the Google Sheets app. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different cool looking templates available. And the one that I want is invoice. It's uh, right in the upper left corner here under work. So just tap that. And it will open it up. And you can see that there's a bunch of default information in there. Um, you know, the project, the due date, your company and stuff. So if you wanted to start editing that, basically you would tap the field that you wanna replace. And then it'll show you the, um, uh, the, formula, the formula bar where it says your company on the, on the bottom of that. So I'm just gonna tap that. You can put, of course you can put numbers in there, but you can also use text. So I'm gonna erase your company and put in, you know, uh, Acme. Acme Media, okay? Then you'd hit the check mark. It's on the right side there. So that would be saved. And then you could go through and change all this other information as well, including the invoice itself and all the other data. So here it says item one, I could replace that you know, with, um, you know, a SKU or something. So SKU, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And I could, I could just go through and start adding it up. Now, you know, if you have QuickBooks or some other advanced accounting system, of course, hopefully you're using that to issue invoices. But if you just need to whip up something on the fly, the Google Sheets templates on the, uh, on your iPhone or your iPad are able to, to quickly do that. Um, and then, you know, if it's, a, if it's a special situation or maybe you're just getting started so you don't have any professional software to do that, these invoices and these templates are a fine option for you. And then when you're done, upper left corner, there's a check mark. Click on that. That will save it. And then you are good to go. For more tips on how to get the most out of Google Sheets, the Google Sheets mobile app on an iPhone or an iPad or on Android devices, as well as the desktop version in a browser, check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. And thank you so much for watching.